is up guys, this is Coding Cleverly with another new video. Today's video is going to be about Priority Queues Minheap. In the previous video we discussed Priority Queues and STL, Standard Template Library, support for the Priority Queue, which was Maxi by default. Now Minheap is actually the opposite of Maxheap. So in, in Maxheap we had like non-increasing order, which was the most value, which was like 30, and then 20, then 10, then 5, and then 1. But in Minheap, we're actually having smaller to larger that kind of sort pattern. So what this is is basically a container adapter just like stacks and queues. And this is just a, like a modified version of the queue STL. So hash include, we got the queue here, we got the using namespace standard. We got this function over here, which is a show. And this is job is basically to show the contents of the priority queue. All right, nothing else, nothing else. It's just to show the priority queue. How we're gonna do that is just basically we're gonna create some additional priority queue inside of this. And then once we just pop it out, like once we have nothing left, we can't have anything like, it's just empty. So to prevent something like that, we create a additional variable and assign it to the same content. And once we're out of the function, like our purpose was to just show the content. And once after that, we want the, our the elements back so that's why we just created this function to pop them out and just create that like duplication and it wouldn't harm our original queue so let's go in the main function and see over here that we have a priority queue similar to what we had over there but in this case we have int and then we have this vector int and then we have this greater int so this is actually you have here is in a one and then we have an int which is a vector and then we have actually a greater int. And then we have this G quiz. So this is the variable to this. We push the elements, which is 10, 30, 20, five, and one. So if I go over here, I would have how it will be sorted out is in min heap fashion. So that, that design here, which is like a template functions, it's, it's actually designed through this. So we have um, 30, 20, five, 10, five, and one, which is actually in max heap fashion, but in min heap fashion, we'll have one as first, five as the second, we'll have 10 as the third, we have 20 as the fourth, and we have 30 as the fifth. So this is how this is gonna be appearing. And then when we have the priority queue, G quiz is, we're gonna show the function. So over here, we just created, like what we do is passing by the value. Uh, over here, we have this um, full exact same thing, which is in all of that. Um, what well, my bad over here. So GQ, uh, GQ, my bad over there again. Um, uh, priority queue int, and then we just create a duplicate, and we just assign it with GQ. Am I saying, yeah. So we have while, and we have this G, G not equal to empty. So once it's full, like, so we have a full, we're just gonna keep on topping them, whatever the top is. So we have one, and then what we're gonna do is pop it, and then top it again. We'll see if it's not empty. So we have five, we'll top it, uh, we'll pop it, and then we have a top, and then we have a pop, and then we have a top, and pop, and top, and pop. Once it's empty, it's gone, and then what we do is go out of the function, and we know that the, uh, the priority queue wasn't harmed. It was just created as a duplicate, and then we'll see the size of it. So the size is still five, so let me just put this as five, and then we have the top now you can see that top here is one um, the pop here so it, it's just gonna pop the first element so which is in the front of the priority queue so what we have is one is gonna be deleted and once after that we'll have five we'll have 10 we'll have 20 and we'll have 30 so this is how it's gonna be appearing so let's just go in our command prompt and run this code so let's go over here type in CMD go over here and just say G plus plus I would say priority queue, so priority queue, and let me run this. So A, okay, so over here we have the priority queue, G quiz is, so we have one, five, 10, 20, 30, just as expected. When you do the size, it's five. Once we do a top, it's the first element here, and then we pop it, so five, 10, 20, 30. Pretty much easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hope you like this video. Like this video, share to your friends, and support Coding Cleverly by subscribing as always. And thank you guys for watching the video. See you in the next video. Peace out.